Good day, I'm Stephen McHugh and this is your JIS News for Monday, September 13, 2021. Prime Minister Andrew Holness says government is not currently considering making COVID-19 vaccination mandatory. He gave that confirmation during a recent vaccination mobilization and public education campaign tour. The Prime Minister says that before any such consideration can be given, the government must demonstrate that an effective public education campaign was undertaken. The current health situation does give strong justification that we should uh, give a directive for vaccination to be taken. But our constitution and the spirit of our constitution and our laws also require us to have a period of public education where the citizen is engaged so that, so that we are not just jumping over the rights of the people right without them being properly informed as to why it is being done mr holness says he's optimistic that the public education program will encourage more jamaicans to not only take the vaccine but also join the vaccination campaign the government's target is to administer 700,000 doses of vaccines by the end of september and have 65 percent of the jamaican population vaccinated by march 2022 up to Friday, Jamaica had administered over 613,000 doses of COVID-19 vaccines. To get vaccinated, persons are asked to visit a vaccination site, details of which are available at vaccination.moh.gov.jm. In other COVID-related news, the Ministry of Health and Wellness is collaborating with the private sector and other partners to establish additional field hospitals. The most recent addition is at the University Hospital of the West Indies, where ground has been broken and work started for a 60-bed facility. I want to recognize Mr. Gary Allen of the Adger Gleaner Group for helping or helping to coordinate this effort um, and uh, working, of course, with the team at the University of the West Indies. The health minister gave the update during his ministry's press conference on September 9. The work has started also at Sub Lamar Hospital in, in, um, to add 40 beds and in Maypen uh, Hospital, similarly so, with Falmouth, St. Joseph's and Spanish Town remaining operational. So uh, there is additional capacity that is being built out and that will ease some of the burden. To further support government's response to the pandemic, Dr. Tufton says a genome sequencing machine to test for new COVID-19 variants is expected to arrive in the island over the next two to three weeks. This will allow local health authorities to test for variant strains without having to send samples to locations overseas. In other news, the Caribbean Examinations Council says the 2021 CXE results will be released in early to mid-October. CXE says it is working hard to minimize the impact of delays caused by the pandemic and the disruptions to the Council's logistical operations associated with the marking, grading and release of examination results. The release of results will be a three-tiered approach. Results will first be released to each country's Ministry of Education, followed by a joint meeting with the ministries before it is communicated to candidates on or before October 15. CXC says its team is in contact with regional and international higher education institutions to communicate the timing of the release to minimize the possibility of students being disadvantaged through the matriculation process. The Ministry of Education is targeting January 2022 to begin the implementation of character education in schools. Portfolio Minister Favel Williams says character education will enhance the academic performance of Jamaican students. She says it will teach them a sense of diligence, how to focus on their studies, how to strive to do well, and how to interact properly with their teachers and other students in and out of the classroom. We will be teaching them about their rights and duties as citizens, what it means to be a Jamaican. We want to teach them about a culture of peace. We want to educate them on tolerance and social partnerships. The minister says underpinning character education will be the launch of a sustained multi-year good parenting campaign. Among other things, this campaign will help parents eliminate corporal punishment in the home and public spaces. And finally, the National Works Agency, NWA, is advising essential workers and other motorists that corrective works continues along sections of the Mandela Highway on the no-movement days. The work which began yesterday continues today and tomorrow, September 14, up until 4 p.m. Manager of Communication and Customer Service at the NWA, Stephen Shaw, says motorists using the area should expect a significant reduction in available lanes. 
China Harbor Engineering Company, Czech, is carrying out the roadworks. It involves removing uneven pavement on the approaches to the Fresh River Bridge, the Overpass Bridge, and the Box Culverts to expose the road base and add more base material in the targeted areas to improve the overall driving surface. And that's it for JIS News Today. I'm Stephen McHugh. Thanks for watching.